Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, quadratics with a common factor and factorizing them. So to get started, here's a question. Now remember in my previous videos I was talking to you about how when factorizing quadratics, if the coefficient of x squared was not 1, there's um, you need to do it in a completely different way. Well, we're going to get to that, but first let's have a look at this problem. So looking at this problem, what you can do, what you can kind of notice is all the numbers are actually factors of that two. So in other words, you can actually simplify this equation one step before you, uh, sorry, you can factorize it and then factorize it as a quadratic. You'll see, you'll see is what I mean by. Um, what what I mean by is, you see, you've got two, six, and four. Now two, six, and four, they're all multiples of two. So potentially, you could take two out as a common factor which means you're going to have x squared plus 3x plus 2. And now what you can do is, now you should be able to factorize this as a quadratic. So at this point, you're looking for two numbers that multiply to 2 and 3. Uh, like I said, I've given you guys a nice and simple one to work with. We know that 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, this inside uh, bracket could be written as x plus 3, sorry, not x plus 3, x plus 1, and x plus 2. So always, um, you know, when you get a coefficient for x squared, which is greater than 1, first off, see if you can um, find any common factors. And then once you get the common factors, um, common factor out, you should be able to factorize it as a quadratic. And now, if you can't find any um, uh, common factors, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next video. But anyway, let's just look at one more quick example before we move on. All right, so in this case, we've got 3x squared minus 48. So obviously, looking at the two numbers, I've got 3 and 48, and I can see that 48 is a factor of 3. So I, sorry, 48 is a multiple of 3. So I could take out 3 as a common factor. I'm looking for a number. 3 times what number is 48? Or 48 divided by 3 is equal to 16. And once I get here, what I notice is that x squared minus 16 is working with difference of 2 squares. Now, if you're not sure what difference of 2 squares is, check out the previous video in this um, playlist series, and you should be able to understand what's happening here. So if it's difference of 2 squares, because it's um, 16, we know that the two numbers are going to be positive 4 and negative 4. And that's how you do these, um, and that's how you do these kind of uh, problems here, where you're factorizing quadratics with a common factor. Cool. So guys, if you have any questions on this, just pop it in the comments, and um, I'm happy to help you out there. All right. Thank you for watching.